What was the first scene that maybe you really were the proudest of? Like the first scene that you did that you felt really accomplished and that you had gotten somewhere in your career? Or maybe the first movie? You can ask me a question, I can't remember. (laughs) Do do you know what it is, Holly? It's like, it's been like, I don't even know how many years, at least a decade, at least a decade since I started shooting. And there's just so many scenes that you've done and so many movies that stand out. You know, if you're asking me about something that was, would, would really stand out the most, I'd have to say Tanya Tate's sex toy violent. Um, and it was, it, that's what it said on the tin. It was a sex tour of me going around Ireland with my camper van. And I met a load of Irish lads and we went to a load of different places. Um, Tipperary, Cork, Dublin. Um, I can't remember where else we, we went to. Um, but it was literally going around and meeting these lads and inviting the lads in. Come on in, lads. Come and make me camper van rock. And it, it was, you know, the Irish are a lot of fun. You know, I miss the, the the British sense of humour. I'm from Liverpool. Liverpool, we have a lot of Irish settlers in. Um, people settled many years ago. And, you know, the Irish and the Liverpool sense of humour are pretty similar. The lads, you had a great Liverpool crack. You know, we had a crack with the Irish. And they, they were a lot of fun. And from there, you know, the movie got produced and it appeared on television x which is like the uk tv channel it's like a, a uk adult channel you know a p- p- pay-per-view or prescription subscription kind of channel on your regular tv and suddenly like the papers went wild like the newspapers went wild in ireland and there i am splashed all over the front of the newspapers so people in like the uk and ireland you know the thing was you go to the 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 local store, the local shop on a Sunday, and get your your morning newspaper and bring it back and sit down, have your breakfast, and read the paper. And there I am, splashed all over the front page. Um, and it it was because it was very shocking, I think, for Ireland to be like, this woman is scandalous. She's come, she's made all these men like she's took them in and made them all, you know. All these sins. Corrupting our youth. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. And I'll tell you now, you had to apply. You had to see it. You had to apply for it. You had to turn up for it. You had to sign the paperwork for it. You had to be willing for it. You know, I didn't literally go out there with like a big net and be like, I'm dragging you in. These guys come very willing, very oh, willing sure. indeed. And um, I, I think it was just shocking for, you know, it was, it was a big deal in Ireland at that time. Um, for me, I was kind of scratching my head, but then I realized, you know what? It was like an opening for people in Ireland to start talking about sex. I was just mm. very, very hush, hush, you know, brush under the carpet. Ireland's a very religious, very religious country. Um, and, you know, the, the Catholic faith is very strong. It's, 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 it's a very strong faith, you know, especially in the older generation and to come in and, you know, religion and sex don't necessarily go down well for some people. And it was, you know, that makes that, oh, someone can be religious and, oh, oh, and then they're having sex. Well, to be honest, we all have sex. Just some people do it on camera and some people don't. Do you think it was also because you were a woman? but they, maybe they were jealous of me. <laughs> a beautiful but you know, woman. But you know what I mean? Like a woman going out and like, um, you know, enticing men, you know, there's, I mean, you know, we come across this so often men can go and sleep with a lot of women and it's like considered, you know, Oh, like you're a stud and, and it's, it's glorified. But you know, if a woman does it, um, especially if she does it kind of from a place of power, then, there's a lot of controversy around that. So, I mean, basically, do you think if a man had gone out and done the same movie, do you think it would have had the same reaction? Like a man went out and had sex with a lot of women in Ireland? That's an interesting question. I, honestly, I, I don't know. But um, I think sex in Ireland would have been controversial either way. So right. whether it was like, you know, that shameful woman, whether it was because I was a woman and, you know, I, I, I guess for some people seeing a woman with a lot of power is mm-hmm. kind of unnerving 
and mm. it's the power that I had in my hand to entice these guys to come in it's like that forbidden fruit isn't it like yeah I feel like yeah. one of those beautiful queens that goes out and it's like hey there's the apple with the poison on but but yeah. it wasn't really was it it was like <laughs> there's the icing on the cake 